In this video, we'll talk about how to set up a 4 to 20 milliamp reference on an ATV 630 process drive. Now, this drive you actually have three different analog inputs. You have AI1, AI2, and 3. They're all available down here. And they all can be programmed for 4 to 20 milliamp. Uh, just so you know, the analog input 1 is programmed for a 0 to 10 from the factory, along with the 4 to 20 milliamps on the AI2 is default. Um, but technically, you can definitely go into any analog input you want as long as it is configured for uh, that particular scale. And I'll also say this that the drive looks at AI1 from the factory, again, which is programmed for 0 to 10. So let's go ahead and show you how to actually adjust the analog input values uh, to accept 4 to 20 in general. So, the first things you can do here, let's just say you want to use AI1 just to make it easy here. Uh, from your main display, once it's unlocked, you want to go into the complete settings, menu 5, and then go down to I.O. menu, inputs, outputs. Now, on the bottom of your tray here on this keypad, you have three tab or four tabs, and the third tab is AI AQ here. You want to enter on that on the button, and now you'll see analog input 1 through analog input 3 configurations. This is important because you can enter on each one like AI3 as an example, and type is current, 0 to 20 from the factory, you can make it 4 to 20 though. Uh, you can go to AI1 like we talked about in originally. Um, so yeah, we can make this a 4 to 20 milliamp by making this a current instead of a voltage in terms of type. And of course you want to have a 4 milliamps minimum uh, as our actual um, default scale there. And you can bump that up to 4 enter and that's basically it for adjusting that basically right now we have programmed the current as your type and we also have 4 to 20 as your uh, range there so uh, as I said before though AI1 is your default parameter or signal coming in that the drive looks at for a command reference so let's go and confirm this go to complete settings again and you can go down to menu 4, uh, 5.4, or depending on what menu you are under. We should say command and reference regardless. Enter on that. And the first one, reference frequency 1 config, is usually programmed to AI1. Okay? But you can change it to whatever you want, though. So let's say, you use, let's say you're using AI2 instead of AI1. Just go in here and change this to AI2. That way, that will be your default um, look that milliamp coming in to run from on this drive. And that's basically it for this drive. That's how you program the drive to use the 4 to 20 milliamp to uh, run your motor.